University classrooms are empty. Students and teachers are on strike. Professor Rodrigo Quiroga says budget cuts have paralyzed scientific research in Argentina. It's a really hard moment. We have colleagues who have already left or are looking to either leave the university or leave the country. Roughly 80 percent of Argentina's university students study at free public universities. This is the Cordoba University. It's the oldest university in Argentina, one of the oldest in Latin America. But students and teachers here say they are concerned for the future. Javier Malé's goal is to make universities charge a fee. His goal is to make education a business so that only those who can pay for it can come and take courses. Javier Millé is a free market economist who was elected last year with the promise of taking radical action to roll back government and control the country's hyperinflation. But Argentina is still weathering hard times. Three million people have dropped below the poverty line since Millet came to office. Poverty now affects more than half the population, including most teachers. Our salaries have lost more than 40 percent of their worth. So this is really impacting our pocketbooks. Everything is so expensive. This month, Congress passed a public university financing law that could help fix the problem. It would guarantee the university budget into next year and require inflation adjustments for teacher salaries every two months. But Millet has promised to veto the bill. He says his priority is still battling inflation. We are doing everything to stop the inflation. We have done the hard work. Now we have to wait for the results. For Argentina's public universities, that is unacceptable. Students and teachers plan to shut down the country next Wednesday with marches in every major city. They say the fate of Argentina's university system hangs in the balance and the livelihood of the country's teachers. Michael Fox, TRT World, Cordoba, Argentina.